in the bed. <laughs> she had to go to work. So I had to do it for the last three days to go to work. And now she's at work. And she didn't want to get up and go. And I'm just getting up. Good rest though. Good rest. Ooh, not gonna get up and do all kind of crap. And I'm in here watching Beverly Hills Cop 2. Eddie Murphy is a foo -foo. Good morning everybody. I was gonna do like a little b-roll, but I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit this morning. I'm getting ready for work. What's new? Um we just got back from our vacation. I just got back to work yesterday. Um, by the time you guys see this, it'll be December, but it's November, almost December. Um, but I just wanted to chat with you guys really quickly and just like kind of tell you guys what's been on my mind. Um, hey, I'm looking presentable today. Um, so we have some bad news at work. One of our counselors passed away over Thanksgiving weekend, um, a big shock to our system. We're just like really still, really stunned at the moment and just, oh my God, it's just crazy. Um, she was such a wonderful person, um, woman. She always brightened up our day um, and just had a, overall like a really positive aura vibe about her. Um, so, hearing of her passing yesterday, coming back from Thanksgiving vacation, and just, it doesn't matter when, you know, we would have heard about it, like, it was just very shocking and unexpected, and it just got me thinking, like, how, like, we just take things for granted until something like this happens, and then we just go back to normal, um, but it's so weird because lately it's just been on my heart to be more intentional with the people I love and like my, my, you know, family, friends, especially those who are, you know, getting up there in age, which I mean, age is just a number. So in my family, age doesn't typically matter because we live a long time. Uh, but I think that's why I'm so like nonchalant about it because I'm just used to people living longer in my family. Um, but that doesn't mean anything necessarily. But even if you should still be intentional with your family, even like not thinking like they're not going to be here one day. You should always just be intentional just because that's what you should do. Um, but it just made me think of, you know, how I slack in my family and we don't talk as much like we'll text, but like I need to be more intentional about you know things uh, but it made me think of my gram my grandma she's not like I haven't really had her on the blocks a whole lot but um, she doesn't really like to be on camera uh, but I don't really share much about her mainly because I just I haven't thought to I guess but she is one of the like most incredible people I have ever met <laughs> I guess <laughs> um she's just really easy and fun to talk to i can talk to her about anything she's a very wise person and she's been through a lot in her life and when i say a lot i mean a lot um you would never know um but it just made me think of her and it was funny that she called me the same day and i was always already thinking to myself like before i need to be more intentional with her and i want to take her somewhere and then like literally that happened the next day and then she called me like obviously she didn't know anything about like work and stuff but i think that was just definitely god's way of saying you need to just pay more attention to people and not necessarily because something's going to happen to them but just because we're not going to be here forever anyways just to say hug your loved ones close don't take people for granted spend time with your grandma uh or whoever like you know in your family or whatever but i definitely i need to make more of an effort i'm surprised i'm just like shocking myself i've got ready i'm wearing a cute outfit it's simple but cute i'm just yeah oh i need to switch over our laundry though really quickly before i go where are my glasses I need my videos uploading it's been uploading all night but at least it's 
the percentage has moved up so that's a step in the right direction because my i don't know what's been going on with my video stuff that is why i haven't been uploading as much this week or like well not this week because it's vlogmas but before it was because my computer was acting dumb so yeah let me switch over my laundry it should be done our christmas tree looks so cute i had to wash my sheets a little bit earlier this time because i accidentally spilled something on them <laughs> guys i made it to work yay um get my mask on i am not ready for today oh my god i'm trying to be positive but like oh i just want to lay in bed all day okay welcome back boom 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 welcome back i was about to bring my mom to the store and get her some cigarettes you don't supposed to be smoking anyway but she and some scratch house. So here it goes. I don't know if she showed y'all. A little decorations. Ooh, nice. Got a little, a little tree. <laughs> oh, she didn't put her candles up yet. Look what she doing, hello. Hi guys, it's the next day. Um, we didn't really have too much going on yesterday. Um, but right now, I'm in my car on my lunch break. I got Wendy's, I haven't had Wendy's in forever. I used to get Wendy's like every day for lunch because they have the 444 or fo 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 as Kenny would say. <laughs> um, but I'm on my lunch break and I'm also in the middle of my family is planning a big trip next year out of the country and we've all been like texting back and forth um, and um yeah they made my burger really fast I really hope they made it right oh they did look at there I always get the junior bacon cheeseburger and the four nuggets but I don't like mayo. I just get onion. I know people don't like that. Onion pickle, lettuce, and cheese and bacon on mine. So I'm gonna enjoy this. I'm gonna continue planning this trip. We're about to buy our tickets. Hopefully tonight, me and Kenny need to talk about it first. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be fun. The door's locked. Well, I didn't hear you. But how is somebody gonna break in? I mean, I wasn't expecting nobody from this time. I thought you saw me. Oh my goodness, go. Now, what you say? I say, you ready to go home? Yeah. <laughs> uh, that jump ain't big enough, not unless I ain't put it on there right. Let me see. Taking her to the bus station. 
we're gonna miss her. It's strict, but it ain't gonna strip for enough. Oh. But I appreciate I can use it for something else. Ooh, Lordy. It's gonna be all right. God, I hope they don't strip. do me. Like they do me every time I hit Wilbur. Uh, I'll see y'all on the next trip. Yeah. Watch it, give me a little. I will. My snippy self. About the bus. The bus already over there. I know, but you say you was coming. Man, y'all. Hey, well, I just went. Oh, shit. I love you, my baby. Oh, you're good. You're good. All right. I'll call y'all on my turn. All right. Hopefully, it goes as planned. All right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I just dropped her off at the bus station. Oh, where are we going now? Scare. <laughs> we always love it when she comes. And she, when she comes, she, she stays for a while. But when she leaves, like, it's sad. And we notice the difference. But all good things must come to an end one day. Kenny's over there trying to make me get out in my freaking pajamas and cow slippers. Toys.